Hi, you're watching Left Foot Media. My name is Brendan Malone and I thought I'd make this quick off the cuff video to share my thoughts about the brand new teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 9. Is it actually a teaser trailer? Because this thing seems to be as long or almost as long as a regular trailer. But regardless, it's a teaser trailer. That's what we've been told it is. So here's my thoughts. Yes, this does contain some uh, uh, impressive looking cinematography, some impressive looking visuals, some seemingly exciting looking moments. But in response to that, I would say, so what? We've already had some impressive looking visuals in previous trailers for films that weren't good, including The Last Jedi. One thing that Disney has done really well, regardless of how good the movie turns out or not, is they have actually made really good trailers for all of the Star Wars films. They have made great trailers. But a great trailer does not a great movie make. And so for me, I am waiting and reserving my judgment. I'm not going to get sucked into the hype machine like I was previously. It takes more than some impressive looking visuals and some passionate Star Wars music for me to get excited now. There's been too many misses with this franchise, so I want to see the actual film. The title, what do I think? The Rise of Skywalker. Well, I am underwhelmed by the title. This to me, uh, perhaps the only other title close to this would be Attack of the Clones. But generally, every other Star Wars trilogy film has had a title that has invoked a sense of mystery, something bigger, something... Uh, something going on here that's big and something uh, more than just a narrow and, and sort of very generic and, and very obviously descriptive title. This to me just feels too obviously descriptive, it feels too narrow, it strips out and in this way actually is, is actually a kind of a, a, a symbol or a metaphor for how Star Wars has become under Disney, a very generic formulaic kind of thing and you just shoehorn in the Skywalker name in this case to the title. I'm not that impressed by it. Yeah, there's ways they can use this title and, and what this title could mean. There's a couple of options open to them, but it doesn't seem that impressive to me. And I don't even really know what they've got to work with, considering how badly the Skywalker name was treated in the previous film. Now, some people have said that they think that this is maybe JJ having a crack at Ryan Johnson. I'm not convinced of that. I don't think that this is how things work at Disney. I think they are a lot more in agreement than you would like to think, or certainly they are a lot more supportive of each other, even if they might have disagreed with how uh, different uh, creative decisions that might have been made. So I don't think that, that that's what's going on here. To me, it's sort of symptomatic of something that's not quite right here. And uh, I mean, I don't know. The thing about the previous titles was, and the way the previous stories happened was, yes, they were about the, the Skywalker saga, but they weren't just about the Skywalkers, these films. They were about the other heroes. It was a band of heroes. It wasn't just Luke, and it wasn't just Anakin. It was the people around them, and they were just as much part of the story. And the titles reflected that too. This was a story that happened in a bigger, in a sort of much bigger universe to a bigger group of people. It wasn't just one person. I don't know where they're going to go with it, but I just the title to me... It just speaks of the problems that, that Star Wars now has, the sort of creatively visionless, sort of methodical plodding along, the production of formulaic paint-by-numbers movies to try and make money, and they're based on nothing more than shoehorning in existing aspects of Star Wars that, you know, those formerly great stories, just shoehorning stuff out of them and into your movie. Uh, another example of this was Lando in The Falcon. Lando wearing the same old clothes he was wearing previously. Why? Why is Lando even in this? It just seems to me that that's a classic example of shoehorning and the fact that he's in the teaser trailer, why is he there? Shoehorning. It's, it's an attempt to try and trick you uh, into use it through the, through the lens of nostalgia with the, the, the angle of nostalgia. Hey, come and watch our film. It's going to be awesome. Remember, it's, it was just like those other ones that we made. But to me, it's like bleh, and it sort of speaks to the creative bankruptcy of what's going on here. Uh, the return of Palpatine. That's a big thing about this trailer. The return of Palpatine. I don't think, my gut instinct is there's not going to be Emperor Palpatine. Uh, some have suggested that maybe it's a recording, possibly. Maybe there's something else associated with Palpatine. Maybe it's going to be a backstory when he was younger. There might be something, some relic, some piece of uh, computer code, some piece of a map or something that they need that Palpatine had. But if Palpatine is back, then this franchise is officially doomed. Because if they have actually brought Palpatine back, that speaks to how creatively bankrupt everything has now become at Star Wars. Because 
What it would mean is that Palpatine never died in the Death Star. That is absolutely absurd. There is no way that Palpatine could have survived that explosion. It's just an absurdity. And if they try and make that a reality, this will mean that after years of criticizing fans for their passionate theories and ideas about stories and attacking fans for having those, Disney will have produced the ultimate absurd fanboy theory because that's what this would be. To make that happen would be an absolute absurdity. There's no way he would have survived it. Secondly, it will be a disaster for the story because what it would mean is it would completely undo, it would completely destroy the very legacy of Luke Skywalker once and for all. It would undo the, 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 the story which was so well booked, bookended in the original trilogy because what it would mean is that there was no victory. Skywalker never defeated the enemy, never defeated evil. Vic there was no victory secured by the rebels because Palpatine survived. He was still alive, the threat carried on existing. There was no good overcoming evil because they never overcame the evil. It would be an absolute disaster if they did that. I'm not convinced they're gonna do it. I think the laugh in there was just a bit of a tease to try and pique people's interest, but I'm not convinced there's gonna be a real Palpatine. If there is Palpatine there and he survived, oh lordy, this thing is doomed in a big way. Lastly, but not leastly, two little comments about my reactions to the teaser trailer. Uh, yesterday I posted some stuff on Twitter about it and someone very charitably uh, came back and challenged what I was saying. And by the way, I don't mind ch uh, charitable criticism. As far as I'm concerned, that's a really good thing and, and not enough of us are, are uh, self-critical enough, we don't evaluate our own conduct and, our, and our, our, you know, the way we put ourselves out there enough. And so I'm okay with people constructively critiquing me. Um, and, and, and this person did it very charitably and, and they challenged me and suggested that perhaps I was being overly harsh, overly critical because we haven't seen the movie yet. In response to that person, uh, you know who you are, your tweets were most welcome, but uh, respectfully, I disagree with you. And I'll tell you why I disagree with you. I'm not critiquing the movie. It doesn't exist yet, so there's nothing to critique. I'm not, I'm not examining the movie. My critique is of this teaser trailer and what I see here. Secondly, I'd say that I think my reaction here, being cynical, is actually the rational position to adopt. Why? Because The Last Jedi was a disaster and The Force Awakens was creatively bankrupt. So fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, hello, something odd is going on here that needs to be questioned. Fool me three times, shame on me. It's all my fault now because I'm not thinking rationally and I walked back into this trap for a third time. So I'm not gonna be uh, suckered in a third time. I think being cynical is the right position to adopt now because we've had so many misses with this uh, this new handling of, of, of the, the franchise by Disney. And then lastly, there might be people out there who are thinking, well, hold on a minute, why does this even matter at all? What's the big deal? You know, there's big problems going on in Western society right now. Why are you so worried about a teaser trailer for Star Wars? Well, in response to that, to that I'd say, well, I, I think this kind of matters actually. Uh, in the big scheme of things, is, is a movie as big as a political decision or a war or famine or any of those other things that plague people, existential suffering and, and, and loneliness and isolation and the breakdown of community? No. But stories are important. Why? Well, I've, I've believed this for a long time. You can tell a lot about a culture by the state of the art that it is producing and, and the stories that it is telling. And if your culture is in touch with the bigger picture and has got good sound philosophy and has got a, a good handle on its humanity, is, is still very humanized, compassionate, humane, philosophically grounded in the truth, then what happens? The art as a general rule that it produces and the stories it uh, tells are gonna be connected to things that are good, true and beautiful. But if the stories that it's telling are creatively bankrupt, the art it's producing is creatively bankrupt and it's nothing more than a sort of utilitarian paint by numbers equation to try and churn out just a product to make money and nothing more, then I would suggest your culture is in a spot of bother if that's happening. Because those studios, those people who produce these films, they are formed and shaped by the culture that they are living in. They are a product and so is their art. Their art is a product of that culture. And when one of the biggest franchises, the biggest odyssey franchise of the modern era in cinema, Star Wars, is churning out garbage, 
then I think it's something that's worth taking note of and, and worth commenting on. But there you go, for what it's worth, that is my thoughts on the brand new teaser trailer. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Please let me know what you think. And if you like the content I'm creating and you'd like to see more of it, then please consider financially supporting the channel. The links for how to do that are found in the video description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time on Left Foot Media.